We now know that Dabo Sweeney made a decision that almost cost Clemson their shot at a national championship. It's a college football show presented by Allstate. I'm Jason Fitz, Trevor Scales, and I'm telling you right now, Clemson fans still to this minute are puckered up oh, yeah. at the highest possible level because of a decision that Dabo made in going with Trevor Lawrence clear cut as the starter and what that meant for their program. Oh, Dabo Sweeney and the Tiger Faith all got their chest all tight and sunshine. <laughs> is headed back to the locker room. We what we've heard, you know, it's a it's that upper body injury. We're gonna keep it vague for now, like the hockey players do, but like it's a lot of concern in that locker room with, with regards to their quarterback because they didn't necessarily have a whole lot of depth. What Ke Kelly Bryant said he's out of there. And that's exactly what happened. For anybody that wasn't paying attention along the way, Trevor Lawrence was named the starter definitively for Clemson, and as a result, Kelly Bryant, an established quarterback that's won a a lot decided to leave the program and of course the first game after all of that goes down <laughs> what do we have we have a hit on Trevor Lawrence that puts him according to some into concussion protocol we're not exactly sure we don't want to exactly. speculate but what we know is all of a sudden they have a quarterback issue at Clemson now I want to say it loud and proud this Dabo doing what Dabo does. He put the player first. He could have done this differently. He could have handled this situation differently. He could have not let Kelly Bryant know before the fourth game with the new red shirt rules. He could have put themselves in a situation where, frankly, he put the program ahead of Kelly Bryant. He didn't do that. But as a result, when you have your starting quarterback out, when Kelly Bryant's left, now everybody's puckered. I think everybody wound up making the best decisions for themselves, which I would never fault anybody for. It just worked out to the worst possible case scenario, right? Like you allow Kelly Bryant to make his take his own agency and and decide that he's no longer going to be a part of this program. Cool. We're gonna rock with Trevor Lawrence. Also cool. But then he gets hurt. And we wind up in this terrible scenario. And now, here's, the, here's the play coming at you yeah, right now. Exactly. Trevor Lawrence scrambling, and boom, he just takes that hit and it hit him the right way. And, uh, and, and this is that moment because, again, look at the time. 4.56 in the second, you just see the crowd and you're saying, really? This happens now? I mean, not a week ago when Kelly Bryant was still part of the team? This happens right now? That is a staggering injury. For and Clemson. what's so crazy about the timing of this in this game specifically, you run this back 365 days, Clemson's playing uh, Syracuse. This time, That time it was at the Carrier Dome, and Kelly Bryant winds up going down with a concussion of his own, and they find themselves in a precarious situation at quarterback. So this is the worst kind of deja vu that Clemson could have had, and it's fostering out at a time that there's a whole lot of drama surrounding that conversation. But let's Let's give a little credit, all right? Let's give a little credit to Clemson oh, for, sure. for, for sure. finding a way through this game. I mean, ultimately, Chase like I, Bryce, I, I... we see you. Yeah. I, th there's an important piece of what I said at the beginning. We now know that Dabo Sweeney made a decision that almost cost Clemson. Almost. Clemson almost. won this game. They come out with a 27-23 win against Syracuse. To your point, only once in AP poll history has an unranked team beaten the same top three opponent in consecutive seasons. It looked like that's what was going to happen in this It one. was scary for them, right? Syracuse was playing out of their minds. They had a good thing going with that quarterback who is a massive risk taker. Buddy, I'm going to need him to just draw it real in it. Just a little bit, brother, because you made <laughs> That make, that make me concerned quite a bit. But again, Clemson shows up the way they need to. That defense at the end gets the stops that they need to. That offense finally gets going behind Travis Etienne. And uh, Chase Bryce at the quarterback position, they find a way to get this win uh, that they very much needed coming off the heels uh, going into the rest of this se uh, season, rather. It's the College Football Show presented by Allstate. I'm Jason Fitz. He's Trevor Scales. If you're new to what we do here every single Saturday, we're here from 7 to 8 Eastern getting you caught up on some of the action from earlier. We're getting you set up on on some of the action for tonight. We do this every single week, and we are really proud of the fact that about a million of you every single week have been hanging out with us. We, appreciate we genuinely appreciate we that. Appreciate this this show uh, is about star power, and we got tons of it. Okay. I'm just going to brag a little bit. Go ahead. Mike Golick Jr. Yeah. coming on, hanging out with yeah. it. We're going to hear from Mike at the stadium. Oh, uh, yeah. It's good we're hearing from him before the, the actual Notre Dame game starts. Uh, happy right. birthday, big guy, uh, but keep it under control up there. Marty Smith, he's somewhere in America. We'll find out. Ryan McGee going to join us. Maria Taylor. I mean, we got stacks on stacks on yeah, stacks I guess. Hey, man, look, we might even get Tim Tebow, I heard. We got oh, somebody in there. Oh, oh Tim, Tim Tebow? Tebow? Tim look, Tebow? I know y'all see the technical difficulties and everything like that, but don't worry about it. Uh -huh. We're going to try to get Tim Tebow in this thing, too. But I think one of the things that we touch on every single Saturday here on the College Football Show presented by Allstate is the mayhem moment. And this is a moment that kind of creates a whole lot of mess. But it contributes to the college football playoff and the larger scope of things that go on in the season. We're going to go back to that Clemson-Syracuse game. Fourth down and six. This is a crucial drive for Chase Bryce when they're getting rolling, trying to take the lead back 
He Dalvin Sweeney dials up a pass on fourth and six when they were running very well. T. Higgins on the receiving end of this one, a 20-yard game. The drive winds up ending in this Travis Etienne touchdown on a counterplay that we saw run all the way down the field for the Clemson Tigers. The reason this is the mayhem moment presented by Allstate is because of what it all meant earlier to me when you talked about Chase Price, fourth and six midfield. This was a fourth and inches situation, a false start situation, yep. Yep. created fourth and six. The Clemson was at that point gashing through the middle yes. of the line. We expected a punt or a run. Yep. It was a statement by yes. Dabo Sweeney Absolutely. to come out and say, hey, it was mayhem <laughs> by Dabo Sweeney to, say, Sweeney to say, you know what? We're going to put the ball in Chase Bryce's hands, and we're going to let him win us this football game. That is the mayhem moment presented by Allstate.